Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener. Now today I am going to try out a little bit of a cooking recipe which you may think you are not a cooking channel but it is a garlic wash and I found it on Facebook it's supposed to get rid of slugs and snails. Now I have my prize hostas for anyone who watched my recent video who has seen me struggling to release four year old hostas trapped in a pot which I managed to do and so I want to look after these hostas. I suffer terribly from snugs and snails in my garden. And here's an update on my hostas that I moved and they're doing very very well but as you can see we do have even though I put the slug pellets down we do have some some damage slugs and snail damage here this one's looking really lovely and healthy but you can still see little holes even though I've got the slug pellets which are in here they're the slug pellets so I found these two bottles which were de-icer bottles which were almost empty so as it's May now we don't really need de-icer hopefully so I've thoroughly 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 washed them out because I don't want to kill the hostas with de-icer instead of uh, snails so I'm going to use those and uh, it comes out to, they're both 500 ml and the recipe calls for one litre so that is perfect. So here we go, this is the garlic wash and I saw this on Facebook and it says that you need to crush two large garlic bulbs, not cloves, the whole bulb, two large ones. And I haven't got two large ones, so I have four small ones instead. And it says put them in a plastic bag to save mess. In the bag, give them a crush. satisfying. So I've put all the garlic in the pan. I've put um, one litre of boiling water in and I would just have my cup of tea while we're waiting for it to boil and then we'll find some nice supermarket music so that I can turn my extractor fan on because this is going to smell. We need the extractor fan on. Okay so that has boiled for 10 minutes and it says to leave outside to cool so that you don't have a lingering garlic smell in your kitchen but I already have a lingering garlic smell in my kitchen so <laughs> so it has boiled and cooled and looks like this it smells pungent to say the least That's done. Well, there we go. My garlic wash. So here's my mixture all ready to go, I'm going to give it a try, but what I normally do with my snails is I throw them over the fence there behind me where the trees are, but do you know what, they always come back and I watched a very interesting program about snails the other day because that's how my life rocks and what they did, they did an experiment and they had four 
quarters of the garden and they got four people to go out and collect all the snails so each person had a different quarter and then they painted the snails with fluorescent colour so each quarter had its own colour then they put them all in the middle and then they let the snails go off and the snails all went back to the same quarter where they originated from so that was bizarre and what they were trying to say was a snail will always find its way back so me throwing them over the fence I think they come back anyway it was very interesting so I thought what I'd do I'll cut off any leaf that has snail damage and then I'll be able to see if there's new snail damage And I'm going to spray. Whoops. Oh my gosh, it smells. And I'll spray underneath as well. And I'll do this. It says, it says to do it once a week. I think I'll do it a little bit more. I might do it every other day. We shall see. The second one, I'm going to cut, just going to cut, if I cut straight I'll be able to know, all I want to do is to know if there's new ones, new damage, yeah I'll cut that one off, I'll cut that one off, I will cut that one off. it straight I'll recognize it as one of my cups and I think there has been slugs on here because it's kind of sticky I'm going to cut that one off and oh dear there'll be nothing left anyway I'm going to cut that to across there interesting if it works. This one here looks really nice. My most successful. Finally this one, cut that one right off, and I'll cut this one right off. Certain types of leaves they seem to like. Well, I'm going to get them. You can see the no, tulips. I'm not worried about the tulips now because they've finished anyway. They've been at my hookah. It's worth a try. They've been at this hookah as well. It's good if it works, just for the sake of some garlic. I'm going to do my busy lizzies as well. I planted up these busy lizzies, I didn't show you. I don't remember them liking busy lizzies, but I'm going to do the busy lizzies anyway. They're nice new fresh plants, they like nice new fresh leaves. Nice tender young leaves they like. Now look, see here, I don't know if you can see because it's so windy, there's a hole there. 
This is the kind of yes, the three holes. We put this on the guy. Lots of holes in this one. That's about it, I think. So, anyway, it's worth a try. And I think I will do it, not weekly, I will do it probably every third day or something. And um, just for the sake of some garlic, and boiling garlic is quite easy, I can do that. And we will see, and I'll keep you updated. And hopefully it would be lovely if that is the answer to my snail problems. Anyway, I'm Jeanette, I am the Enthusiastic Gardener. Thank you for joining me. Please check out my Facebook page at The Enthusiastic Gardener as well. Hope you're having fun in your gardens and I will see you very soon. Bye.